Recording sounds sync. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? How you doing? My name's... I'm fairly sure at this point that you guys are as sick as hearing those intros as I am. Dehancer. Let's get straight into it. What is Dehancer? Dehancer is an OFX plugin. It's a color gradient software that pretty much claims to take your shitty camera footage and turn it into something that maybe possibly looks like analog film. As I'm going through the actual process of using the software, you're going to find out exactly how it works at the same time as I'm going to find out exactly how it works. So grab your dicks, grab your coffees, grab whatever you want to grab, get the zippers down. Let's go. So I'll be using the DaVinci Resolve version of the Dehancer plugin. There are other versions available for Adobe Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, and I believe some other software, but you'll need to check the website for that. So the clip's already set up. You go into the effects panel and you type in Dehancer. Okay, so the latest version currently is Dehancer's Pro 7.1.0. Let's put that on. And this is how it starts off. Now, what I did before, when you first download the actual software, you'll need to download the profiles, the camera profiles. Otherwise, you'll just get Rec. 709. Okay, I'm with you guys. Let's see what we can do here. From my basic understanding, you have the option of having a film negative and a film print emulation light. So I'm gonna try and find them first. Here we go, so that's under film. Kodak Vision 3 250D, it's what it's set at, but I like 500T. Kodak Vision 3 500T, I'm gonna choose that. And my output print from linear to 2383. So as it stands, this is what it looks like, and it looks like dog shit. But this is where the work comes in. So let's go back to the beginning and select our camera profile, which is Black Magic. Choose camera, and we choose Black Magic Design. Automatically goes to Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, which is good. Okay, so it looks a little bit better. The format is film. Great. Um, so you've got your general correction controls, which is your exposure, your temperature, slider, colder, warmer, tint control. I have no idea what fringe means, so I'm going to leave that. Film developer. Okay, let's play around with this. And I've noticed that with these, you need to kind of enable the settings. So I'm going to go enable and, uh, Oh, play around with the contrast boost, just so you can see. The grain is applied automatically, but I'll, I'll turn that off in a sec. So that's the uh, the contrast boost under Film Developer. The contrast boost and the gamma correction works together. And it looks like the contrast boost affects the, the mids, the highlights, and the shadows. And this is kind of like a, an offset wheel, I guess, uh, that ranges from the shadows to the mids. Okay. Color separation is only really activated when these two controls are activated. So, okay, that does that. Uh, film, film compression. No idea what that is. Let's play around. Okay, I'm going to leave that. It's not what I'm going to use. Black points. Again, that's going to be down to where your shadows sit in the image. So you've got the darker points, really crush the darks or really kind of make them look milky. Uh, the white points again, playing around with your highlights. All right, color head, I have no idea what that is. Um, let's enable it and see what happens. Okay, I think that's individual colors. Yep, magenta green, yellow blue, cyan red. Shadow tone, mid tones. Okay. Is this doing anything for you? <laughs> All right, let's just switch that off. Probably not going to uh, use that. Film grains enabled. Let me switch that off. Halation. Yes, this is what we want. Okay, let's whack that up. We'll leave it at super 35 millimeter and bloom. I think this is where the magic probably happens. Um, yeah, I can see a little bit of halation there. 
Let's enable the bloom. Where is the bloom? Enabled. There we go. Reduce. There it is. There it is. Almost has that kind of like 70s glow <laughs> for this one. Okay. That's a bit too strong, but again, you and I just finding out at exactly the same time how this thing works. So, oh, and then the computer died. We'll be back in a sec. <laughs> just a bit of a technical issue there. Uh, the system shut down, the graphics card shut down. We should be okay now. Let's get back into it. Dehancer, what's it all about? I'm still figuring it out. Okay, we're back. Moving forward, I'm gonna be using only a few of the options that we have uh, in the panel on the right-hand side. So I'll be using the exposure conversation, this section here for the correction. I'll use the film developer section. Uh, the film negative we've already established. I'll leave the expand part um, just in case I wanna crush the blacks and make them a little bit more milky. Halation, yes, all day long. Uh, bloom, absolutely. Film damage and film breadth. So film damage and film breadth. Now the combination of the two, of the, two, uh, of the three I should say, uh, would probably give you that kind of jitter and that flicker vibe, which you normally find in 35 millimeter film. Let's go into uh, contrast. No, we'll leave the contrast boost. Let's go into exposure compensation. Let's reduce that a small amount. Okay, temperature. I like where the temperature's sitting at the moment, so I'll leave that. Let's have a little bit of a tint there. Give it that almost like kind of a yellow tint uh, to the highlights. Let's uh, boost the contrast as a small amount. It would help if we enable the actual option. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. What about there? Let's play around with the gamma. Reduce that a small amount. Uh, color separation, I actually like where that's sitting at the moment. So let's have a look. That's what it looks like so far. And ta-da. Okay. Let's see if we can crush the blacks, just a small amount. And maybe reduce the, uh, the white points. Or increase it, I think I like. Yeah, I think we'll increase it. I like that. Uh, this is the film print section. Target white. Let's see what that does. Okay, it's literally just targeting targeting the uh, the highlights, uh, reducing that down. Looks like there's a little bit more color density in there. Let's uh, adjust the exposure. Bring that down a bit as well. Let's have a look at the tonal contrast. Okay, color density. Let's see if we can play around with that a small amount. Okay. Color density is basically making the colors richer, darker. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Color head, I think we played around with that before. Um, let's see, let's increase that. Oh, again, we need to enable these options. Let's lift that up, blue, yellow, okay. No, that's fine. Magenta green, cyan red, a bit more, just a small amount of cyan red. Preserve exposure, okay, why not, let's just put in the film green. I'm gonna leave it at ISO 250 at 35%. We've already got the halation enabled uh, from last time. Um, let's have a quick look. Uh, bloom, yes, that's at 100%. Let's bring that down a small amount. Okay, let's go back into the effects. Let's put the film damage on. Enable that. Film breath, enable that. And get the gate weave going as well. Let's see if the system handles it or if it crashes and burns. It's anyone's game at this point. I can actually see what it's doing. It's it's giving that nice kind of flicker, nice jitter, um, which we kind of subconsciously, we, we will relate to 35 millimeter film. 
which is good. The thing that I really like about Dehancer is that you have slider controls, which is really, really nice to work with. Um, in most cases, especially in DaVinci Resolve, we're working with color wheels, uh, we're working with uh, contrast curves, but it's nice to have everything pretty much under one set in here. So you can literally go in, slide left, slide right, uh, choose your halation, choose your blooms. Everything's there. Everything's all there in one place. So you don't have to mess about going to other sections of the, um, the color grade panel or the color correction panels. I actually really like this. What do you guys think? So as it stands, that was the original image. That's the graded image with a bit of a yellow tint as well. I like the 70s porn vibe. <laughs> I like that. There's um, quite a lot more that I could do with this one, but because I want to keep the video short and just give you an overview of the control panels, I'll leave it as it is. If you want to check out Dehancer, you can go onto their website. And if you really, really want to get into it, you can use the discount code BOS10 and you'll get 10% off. If you've made it this far, Legends, give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. I know in most cases, people's attention spans are not that good. So I'm happy that you made it this far. It didn't crash. <laughs> I'll uh, throw in the before and after grade somewhere in the video once I've done the finishing touches. Thank you for watching. Until next time. So we should all be uh, up and running by now. And um, what I would suggest, if anything, is that you... um watch the video. Go watch it. Ha, ha, ha.